Shalom, my brothers and sisters of the Jersey community. Your boy, Big Baby. I'm going to knock out these videos this day because I had a pretty, 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 pretty stuff week. So, and I have to do some things today. So, I just want to go ahead and knock these videos out to all my subscribers, to all my brothers in the uh, Jersey Heads, Kicks and Lids, Jersey Kings. It's your boy, Big Baby, back with this pickup vid. Like I said, these are these two here. you see seen one of them. But these here that I, I'm going to show you, they are not grails. This just happened to be uh, uh, players that I thought were... I just like this team. This team in this particular era. This era is like 2002, 2003. 2001, 2003 team. And let me go ahead and get... One player went on to do um, win championships with the Lakers. The other player just kind of fizzled. But he was the man on his team here. This is uh, the, the Clippers um, champion joints here. Okay, so let's start it off, right? Long, yeah, LAC, Los Angeles Clippers. You have your NBA logo. Clipper here, triple stitch going on here. Double stitch, 21. You got your jock tag. Champion Authentic. I gotta watch this thing too. This is an old jersey. Miles, single stitch on the back. 21. Double stitch. Okay. You have your blue side panel. Dazzle, side panel, mesh. Um, show you the Korean made champion on the tag. Okay. So I got to show you this one. And I already did a review. Just go briefly with the Lamar Odom. Okay. So with the Lamar Odom with this. Boom, boom. Now, these two jerseys, I got to, you know, wash them up. Okay, the quick story on these jerseys. This is a team that I liked. They were great to watch, you know, because... White bitches have babies, most black youth are incarcerated in the ghetto babies having babies. But also with Elton Brand and Quentin Richardson and, and later on uh, Corey McGetty got to the act of it. These guys was boom, they come down and bam and they come down doing this. I remember doing a commercial and a commercial showing them doing like this. Every black man in America faces imprisonment, ridicule and torment. But in this tournament, the chosen few shall be triumphant and the devil will be decapitated. So you can keep your ducats and your dresses. I won't be emasculated. No, um, and they were a great team. They, I mean, they weren't a great team. I don't say a great team. Great teams win championships. They were an entertaining team. <laughs> Let me say that. They were an entertaining team. So it was cool to see. These guys, you know, they, they were they were good to watch. They, they were a thrill to watch. Um, they were youthful energy, man. They had youth, youthful energy, man. And them lobs and boom, you know, they, they were fun to watch. And so, and I saw these jerseys, they were a little nothing. And plus, the colors are crazy. And, you know, and during the jersey craze, before the, before they, you know, during the time, a lot of people couldn't afford the Mitchell and Nash joints. So, you know, you come across some someone like these here, and people will rock them. You know, I remember people, people doing the jersey craze. People was also wearing modern day players too. They weren't just wearing throwbacks, but they also were wearing the modern day teams. Okay, you know, you had guys that I, that I was going to work with. They'd be rocking, you know, the Ben Wallace's, the Chauncey Billups. You know, modern jerseys. Um, you know, who else they were, they were wearing a heart then? Uh, the Reggie Billers. Hey, you know, a lot of Shaquille O'Neal jerseys. Kobe, 
you know, Kobe, as a matter of fact, I believe is the top selling jersey, one one of the top selling jerseys of all time. So Cass was just wearing jerseys at that time. So, so during a jersey craze, it wasn't just a throwback craze. It was also a jersey craze. Jersey dresses, stuff like that. My wife had three jersey dresses. So, you know, that was just hot back then. Then you had, you know, Vocab, that was your boy um, Nelly, his line. P, P. Miller, he had his own line. So, uh, Fubu, you know, come on. Harlem Globetrotter jerseys and stuff like that. So, you know, Jersey Craze was just Jersey Craze. Everything went Jersey. Everything went Jersey. You know, I even made some jerseys that represented my, my uh, division in Chrysler. I made Mopar. Mopar jerseys, you know, the jersey craze was on. You know, everyone wanted jerseys at that time. Um, so, um, another interesting thing about the first time I had these jerseys, I sold them, but I got these back. The funny thing about these particular jerseys, I remember I caught, I caught heat from, I don't know what had happened to him, but Dodgeball Terrace, he was out in San Diego at that time. I think he moved out of San Diego, so... Dodgeball probably stick his head up here and there, or he's probably just quiet, sit back watching. But Dodgeball Terrence got on my case about wearing these jerseys for the reason that I, I kind of pick poke fun at the Clippers because the Clippers is a, is a franchise that was that's a losing franchise, the franchise that was just it just seems like that old movie Major League for some reason. If you remember that movie in Major League. Um, the owner just did not want the team to win. It was the Cleveland Indians. Cle Cleveland, the Cleveland Indians owner in the movie Major League, she just didn't want the team to win. And that's what it seemed like when it comes to the Clippers. Um, Dave, it was a Stern, Sterling. Donald Sterling? Yeah. Donald Sterling, it seemed like he didn't want them Clippers to win nothing. That's what it seemed like. He just kept getting bad management. And he never the Clippers never seemed to win anything. Um, they're better now. Are, will they ever win a championship? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if, it, if the NBA wants that team to win. They're a big market team. I don't see why they, you know, why they can't win a championship. Maybe they will, will. maybe they won't. But I don't see them. Getting past no other team in the West? I don't see it, but I could be wrong. All right, let me go ahead and end this video. Uh, big shout outs to all Jersey community, Jersey heads. Love, love all you guys. Keep watching the video. Let me keep putting them out. You know, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, peace and shalom.